Um, this is Open My Eyes, my name's Ed and hopefully I'm going to guide you through Snippet Designer and what it can offer to uh, Visual Studio and you. Um, snippets are a great way of storing code that you reuse, that you want to reuse over and over again. And with Snippet Designer from Matthew Manella, um, I've got no affiliation with him. I'm just uh, using it to to show what snippets and how powerful they are. Um, go ahead and download it from here if you've got Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio uh, Community 2015 edition. Seems to work fine and for my purposes. So, without further ado, um, if you create a new console application, uh, C Sharp, I, uh, you'll get to this screen. Um, so, for those that don't know how to do it, at file new project select your project uh, C sharp console application and you get to this screen. Um, I've already created a snippet but I'll show you what I mean. So when I type out uh, console uh, right line and we'll put in you know uh, hello world as an example don't forget your semicolon um, I'll also use console read line to allow us to um, press enter so it pauses so the console application doesn't open and close straight away. So you can see that took a few seconds, not too long because there's only two lines of code, but when you're uh, going for um, new bits of code, uh, I'll show you how cumbersome it can be to type it all out. Um, so we'll run this. As you see, hello world, and press enter to close off the application and go back to the editing view. Um, so, if I wanted to create a shortcut, in fact, that's what snippets are really just the storage of your uh, commands, um, I can create one um, using the snippet designer. So, here I've created a hello world HW and you can see I've saved it as hello world snippet so if I tab twice you'll see it created it for me that's a matter of seconds um, rather than typing it out now if you've got uh, a few lines of code if you can't remember the syntax correctly um, if there are certain things that need to be do doing this is so much easier so it's highlighted um, hello world because I've in uh, snippet designer I've added a parameter uh, value and if you've got lots of lines you can uh, just tab across them. Uh, in this instance it's just highlighted hello world. So I'll, I'll just type there uh, testing and this should compile correctly. Great. So getting on to creating uh, a snippet. Um, all we have to do is highlight the code that you want, export as snippet, and there you go. It creates a copy of the exact text for you. Snippet file one is the name of the file. So in this instance, we'll create it as hello world snippet. The language is C sharp. Shortcut, uh, you can do HW uh, where I've got it already. Now, the parameter that I was discussing, you can highlight a piece of text, um, add that as a parameter, and parameters will appear down here. So if I right click, make replacement, that adds uh, dollar signs to either side and allows you to, uh, when you open or expand the snippet, it will allow you to type into those specific locations. So if I had six or seven lines of code with different parameters to be filled in based on the application, you just tab across them and you can straight away uh, type in. Once you're done typing, hit the enter key and that will allow you to type in your uh, text. So let's save this. We'll save it as. It will default to your uh, user logon as you can see 
it's Edson S, that's my name, uh, document Visual Studio Code Snippets. In here, um, you can save it as uh, Hello World Snippet. Should say, yep, yeah, there's already a snippet in there, but that's fine, that's what we had before. Save. Okay, so now the software will automatically add it to IntelliSense. So when you type when you type it in, it will refresh IntelliSense for you. So if I type HW, you'll see it appears there. Double tab, now it should have the parameters testing. And there we go. And off I can go my memory way. So let me show you uh, one that I added a little bit more uh, in depth or a little bit more lines of code um, and this is using my SQL data class that I've got. We may get some errors because I haven't added a reference to this class but this is just to show you the uh, lines of code that we can generate with a snippet. So if I do SQL SP, so it's for when I stored procedures, if I add double tap that in, there you go. It added uh, all these lines of code uh, without me having to type anything in. So as you can see, if I just hit tab, it goes to the places that I've got place marks to rename the store procedure name, data values, parameter name, and all that lovely stuff. Um, so that's been snippet um, in its view. I much prefer this way than faffing about with XML. Uh, it's a great little uh, application um, and definitely helps the, I would say lazy developer, but efficient developer is probably the uh, best way to describe it. Um, don't forget, share, like, subscribe. I'm going to try and add more helpful tips within Visual Studio and the like, anything that I find that's uh, helpful to people. Uh, give me any suggestions type it all down uh, uh, below um, let me know how I did for my first video. Alright, take care. Bye!